Hey everybody, I'm Not Great, and welcome to another episode of the Triangle Strategy Let's Play, and my dogs are, of course, losing their shit in the background. God damn it. Ugh. Anyways, whenever we left off, we had just narrowly avoided being completely obliterated by uh, Avlara? Whatever her name is. Uh, but we made it out by the skin of our teeth. Just ever so barely. Since then, I spent a little bit of time last night leveling up. So I've still got... Mr. Wind at level 9, but everybody else is level 10 or higher. I also did a job upgrade for Frederica. And yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Bought some things, upgraded some folks. So, um, I think we'll do one more mock battle, or mental battle. There we go. This is the best one for Narf. I know it's Narf, but... Narf! Narf! Narf. Yeah. Alright, unit placement. Here we go. There we go. My magic is at your disposal. Definitely want him. We're gonna use him Understood. to help Narf stay up on top of things. You got it. Uh, let's keep leveling up all of our healers, actually. If I need your approval. Very good. I'm ready. Ready and willing. And two tanks. You would have Lionel? Yes, I would have Lionel. And let's bring in our brand new archer. Archibald, the archer. He's actually the guy who, uh, is the kudos merchant. Consider so, it done. Yeah. And sure. Oh no, we want to spread our tanks out a little bit. There we go. Then we'll put these two close together. But there we go. Oh, here we go. Now it's symmetric. So as I think I mentioned in the last video, we have reached the end of all of the demo content, so everything after this battle is going to be brand new to me and you. Of course. Now it's my turn. I am going to hit you in the face. All right. Nice. Fuck you. So, Forward. another good thing about this battle is that we have the potential to get an awful, awful lot of items and experience in a very short amount of time. We just cannot get cocky. Because if we get cocky, we are fucked. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for you, Eridor. All my life. Come on. I don't know what that means. Allow me. Uh, we don't want to do that yet. Yeah, we'll just shoot that guy. I'll show you what I can there do. There we go. So I think we want to move here. Yeah, get some bonus experience. The fruits of my study. I'll make you proud, grandfather. Whoa. I really need a 1 TP ability with, with this ass 
just just to help level him up. I don't know if he even gets a, a one TP ability. Like he might be like a really fragile glass cannon. We can do this. I feel better than ever. There you go. And just stay right there. Oh no. Let me show you what I've learned. That tickled. Yeah, we'll go there. Flame shield on Eridor. Let me help. We'll get him yet. Out! Help you, Von Kork. Yeah, let's piss that guy off. See what Lionel can do. He still talks about himself in the third person though, and that drives me up the fucking wall. Ooh, ow. Thought you had me. Come on then. Love this archer real fast. Defeat is not an option. Perish. Hey, fuck you, dude. You just stole. You piece of shit. Time to take action. Wow. That was shitty. Let's see. Yeah, let's lend uh actually no. Let's give Narv another point. We can do this. I won't let you down. Where is Narv? Ah, sure. I thought you had me. Damn it. Here I come. Oh, well, that's three of them. Ready to see and that's a kudos point, too. I've been waiting for this. You're in the way. <laughs> Allow me. Now that guy's gonna die. Time to end this. Yeah, just stay there, old dude. Shall we begin? Allow me. Thank you, friend. Deal over there, healing the healers. Almost. Let me show you what I've learned. There we go. Blazing chains. Uh, what? what do you mean what? You did fine. Chill out. Lionel has arrived! Feisty, aren't we? All right. For the honor of House Wolfort. Maybe I can get my item back if I kill this dude. This ends. Because that here. was that was two thousand coin, man. Whatever it takes. Uh, let's see. In tandem. There we go. Make sure I grab it before the, the fight is over. You're finished. Oh, another one. Nice. Come on then. Where are you in your 
your cups about. The tides are turning. No need to panic. Let's see, what do you know? Yeah, you can hit him. Sure. That's it. Now we make our riches. I'll show you what I can do. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I can heal with him. It's not over yet. I can keep fighting. I shall do what I can. You Oof. misjudged me. I hope we still get the two thousand, or if we're if we if we missed out on that opportunity. Okay, good. We did. And timber and fiber, nice. Alright, I think I put that kid at level 10 now. I think the kid is at level 10. Yeah, alright, cool. Let's see if anybody could use some upgrades. Only this guy, alright. Accuracy, luck. Yeah, let's just go ahead and upgrade your weapon. And let's get out of here. All right, three events. Falks, Telior, Mr. Potato Head. Oh, we have a character story. Who the fuck? Another little kid. Okay. Oh, she's a circus performer. Let's see what her deal is. I was about to say, who keeps on letting all these damn kids out of nowhere, but... <clears throat> you know, it's war. They're orphans. Hey. What's a child like you doing in such a lonely place? nowhere else to go where are your parents they died years ago my lord my name is Sarah Noah what's yours anonymous child Picoletta. there we go not sure how I feel about the clown makeup Young girl, orphaned by war, she does not know where her true home is, but considers the traveling circus troupe she spent her days with to be her family. Picoletta, you throw that ball with such skill. Because it's my job. When I throw this ball, everyone applauds. You mean juggle? Well, they used to. But the circus <laughs> is gone now, so I'm all on my own. What are you doing here, mister? We are trying to put an end to this war. I hate war. War made everyone go away. You're really gonna end the war? Then let me go with you. Uh... <laughs> I can throw my ball and help you fight the bad people. This is juggling. Ball throwing, juggling. Oops. There goes my tummy grumbling again. Oh, shit. My lord, we cannot simply leave this poor child here. <sighs> I know. All right then, Piccoletta. Come with us. Sereno is not happy. But before we go fight the bad people, let us fill our bellies. After that, perhaps you could show us some tricks with your ball. Sure thing. That's what I'm best at. All right. What is the deal with the juggling child? An expert in offensive items. Increases the range of offensive items. Can summon a decoy of herself. Huh. We will try her out a little later. Where's my... there it is. Okay. 
So next, uh, let's see what's happening in High Zand. I think Mr. Potato Head is up to no good. God damn you, Mr. Potato Head! To be quite frank, I underestimated House Wolfort's strength. God damn right you did. To think they were capable of driving off the S Frosty army forces like that. That's what we do. I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. <laughs> he was. Yeah. And yet, something tells me Wolfort's victory is more than a fluke. It. All right, stop. It absolutely was a fluke. Like I, I had to kill seven people at once and burn down like roughly a third of my entire village just to meek that victory out. But I'll take it. I shall keep that in mind. Still, this development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. God damn it, everybody has plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes. We shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. Alright, let's see what's going on. No, we'll save Falks for last. We like Falks. Let's see what um, what this little piss ant is doing. House Warford triumphed. Yep. Yes, my lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolfort army suffered significant casualties. Yeah, we did. <laughs> did it now? It is not as if I entirely failed to consider the possibility of an Esfrasi defeat. And yet, it is hardly an ideal development. Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle, but can they win the war? I hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be a really short Let's Play series. Hmm. My lord. Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. Okay, that's not how delivery birds work. Like, homing pigeons, shit like that. Like, they have one place that they go, and then they come back to you. Like, you don't just say, yeah, pick a random ass bird, and I'm going to send it somewhere. It's like throwing a dart, and it's like, the letter goes here. I bring good news, my lord. As Frost Army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince, but they were roundly defeated by House Walford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. It was not a round defeat. It was very angular and sharp and pointy. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolferts wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. Because he wasn't even in the fucking battle. It would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Seymour's legacy. Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House Wolfert's aid while retaining enough for our own protection. Hell yeah! Go Landroy! Yes, my lord. It's time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. Not taking into account the cowardly little bitch.
All right. Anything else? That, that was weird. All right. Here we go. I shall see to the wounded. See that you do. I will help as well. My hawk can assist with clearing the rubble. That is a very strong bird. <clears throat> My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Or go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. Ready for We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzen. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Falks to act in our best interests. Well, Falks. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right, as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. Do you have a moment, your highness? <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, it's you. As silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. No, I, I already knew that you did not know that. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? You need not worry about that, Roland. Lord Wolfort speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. Yeah. We protected you. We fought hard for this shit. <coughs> I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I can scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake and for yours. Not a word, my friend, is completed. Save. House Wolfford prevails against General Avlora's army and drives them out of Glenbrook. Be gone! Though victorious, Roland sobs quietly. Saddened by the sacrifices made in his name. It is pretty rough. I'll give him that. 
Glenbrook is powerless, but knows they must keep the royal bloodline alive. Thus, the conspiracies and power struggles around the noble blood in Roland's veins continue to stain the land crimson. Chapter 8, Part 1, The Weather Vein. <clears throat> oh shit, four character stories? And one side thing. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, Eridor relaxes at the encampment when Huet comes to him with a question. God, Eridor invites Corentin to take a break from all his research. Asabara speaks of her past over a drink with Eridor, and Narf speaks with Gila about her home of Hyzant and his grandfather's place in their history. Here we go. Buckle up, everybody. It's story time. Seems as if the troubles never cease. I'd kill for a drop of ale. And he has before. <coughs> I take it you and Benedict have seen your share of trouble. You have both served House Wolfort for many years, yes? Aye. We both served Lord Simon since we were green between the years. Through the good times and the bad. To see him now, you wouldn't believe the stories of what we got up to in our tender years. Even then, though, he was always the schemer. Always drawn me into his fanciful plots. Has so much changed since then? <laughs> I don't reckon so. In any case, was there something you wanted to ask me? There was. The other day, Benedict posed quite the strange question to me. Several days ago. Where snowbell blossoms bloom? Indeed. I thought perhaps you had seen trace of the flowers while scouting with Flugi. The fuck is Flugi? I've spotted clusters of them in the deep mountain passes before, but not of late. So it is as I thought. They have ever been a rare sight, even more so in recent years. I had thought to procure one, but it may be wise to temper my expectations in that regard. Life always finds a way to flourish. I am certain Anna and I can find one before long. I would not have you chasing my idle fancies. You both have more vital duties to attend to. I... of course. Is he looking for grave flowers? I wonder. So, Benedict's looking for a snowbell blossom. What's so peculiar about that? Nothing. If it were anyone else asking. However... I think you'd agree that Benedict is not the type to go picking flowers on a whim. They say that when a snowbell blooms... That moment is frozen in time. Aye. Is it for the wedding, maybe? <laughs> Precisely. You and Benedict both never fail to surprise. But of all flowers, why the snowbell? Does he have some lady love I'm unaware of? I can't speak to that, but I'll tell you one thing, Hewitt. We've all got moments locked away and placed close to our hearts. You, me, even a stubborn-headed mule like Benedict. Like the snowbell, we want him frozen like that forever. And like the snowbell, they're liable to shatter if we let another handle him carelessly. I... understand. I apologize if I was too forward. 
Let us forget the matter. No. It isn't you that needs to apologize. I'm always telling Benedict no one likes being lectured. It was... enlightening. I see you and Benedict are true friends. For lack of a better word, I. Bring me a draft of ale, and I'll tell you all about our younger days. At least, what I can remember. I recall Benedict wasn't nearly as capable as he is now. Hmm. I may have to take you up on that offer. Do you really reckon snowbells are still blooming somewhere out there? Perhaps. Though I've not seen them in this region, they may still bloom in the southern reaches. In other words, a trek and a half from here. Don't give up the search, my friend. Well, that was cryptic. <laughs> We'll go through all the Eridor stuff first. It just seems like Eridor is there waiting for somebody to buy him a drink, and I think it's because he spent all of his money. Let's find out. Working hard again today, I see. How fares the research? It progresses and shall continue to do so, provided you remain out of my way. <laughs> not not people in general, just Eridor specifically needs to stay away from Corentin. <laughs> Never one to mince words, are you? What is it you're researching exactly? Your questioning remains distressingly inefficient. As I explained just yesterday, I'm exploring something truly groundbreaking, and I'm asking you precisely how and why it's groundbreaking. That would entail a thorough explanation of surface melting on ice crystals, one even you could understand. From there, I would have to explain how the quasi-liquid film on said crystal can then be thermodynamically stabilized. Uh-oh. All right, all right, you win. I'm sorry I asked. But I can tell by your attitude all this work isn't good for you. You should join me for a swig of wine. God damn it. I'd rather not. <clears throat> and why not? Research has shown that wine inhibits the brain's higher functions. Fewer words, more wine. <laughs> Last might shake a brilliant new idea out of that massive head of yours. But my precious research... All I desire is to carry out my research unim... unim... Without interruption. Are you listening, Eridor? My research on my terms. Why can they not <laughs> grant me this one thing? I am loving... the depiction of drunken characters in this game. <laughs> yeah, well... This cannot stand, Herador. You hold me out here, yet you haven't so much as drank, haven't touched your glass. Oh, so you're an angry drunkard, are you? Lovely. <laughs> you asked for this, Herador. <laughs> me? Drunkard? <laughs> Balder... <laughs> Balderdash. <laughs> It's the damn ministry! All their restrictions and secrecy. How are we to pr <gasps> move forward if we can't share our techniques? Am I wrong? You're damned right. There's always a course about everything. <laughs> Sin on all that knowledge and skills is... It's not good. Worse than me locking my... Myself up here! 
bed with you. <laughs> okay, that one was definitely worth it. Next, Asabara. And Eridor. Ah, that's the good stuff. Ain't no one can pour a pint like you. I take coin for drink, not compliments. It's hard enough to keep this place running on my own as it is. Need me to lend a hand? Thought you'd never ask. You can start by washing the dishes, then restocking our foodstuffs, fixing up that wobbly table, and... I leave it to me. Oh? Ha! <laughs> I'm only playing. I'd never put a paying customer to labor. But that's an awful lot of work for any one person. Ever give thought to finding someone with whom you might share the burden? Barking up the wrong tree, Eridor. Bartender never goes for the patrons. Well, close enough to never. You can stop right there. The last thing I need is anyone else complicating my life. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. I had myself a someone once, you know? Special-like. Till he left me for a specialer someone. Raised my son Theo all by myself after that. He'd be a man grown now. If the war hadn't taken him. Damn. Uh, forgive me, Hasabara. Didn't mean to go drudging up painful memories. No need for apologies. I don't know anyone who doesn't have a thing or two in their past that haunts them. In truth, I'm more exhausted than anything. Must be the years taking their toll. Ain't got nothing to do with age, and everything to do with the hardships you've overcome. <laughs> more impressive than an old soldier drowning his sorrows in mead. What kind of barkeep am I, letting my poor patron wallow? All right, so Eridor has had an ale. He has had wine. Now he's moved on to mead. Oh, sometimes wallowing's good for the soul. Come on, have a round with me. My treat. Took you long enough to make the offer. Now, what shall we toast to? Hmm. How about to your son? I, to Theo. All right, one more. That's Narf and Gila. He even looks kind of like Pinky. That should do it. You should be able to use that arm just fine in no time. Many thanks, lad. You truly are a talented one. My apologies for treating you like an intruder the other day. Think nothing of it, my good man. If you need anything else, I'm more than happy to help. Your magic never ceases to amaze. Did you learn everything from your grandfather? You bet I did. The Archmage Grandante taught me everything I know. Grandante? There's something I've been meaning to ask you, Narv. Ask away. I was in Hyzand for a short time, studying at the Ministry. No doubt you know it's considered the greatest authority in this world when it comes to matters arcane. Their library contains everything from records of magically enhanced soldiers to technical tomes and much, much more. Their chronicles on the history of magic, too, were the most comprehensive in our realm. 
And yet, I do not recall seeing even a single mention of a mage named Grandante. One would think the achievements of such a powerful sorcerer would be recorded somewhere. Why are they not? Those awful Hyzantians. Truly, they have no shame. Narv? The chronicles you speak of? In truth, they were written by my grandfather's own hand. What? what But then why is he not credited by name? Was he a Rosellen? He refused to do the research the former Hierophant ordered of him, and was branded a heretic and unbeliever. They erased his name and achievements from the records, and made it like he never existed at all. He was then banished from the city and died in exile, his name all but forgotten. So that's why you keep saying it over and over again. It's all their fault. No one knows of the Archmage Grandante. I... I had no idea. These robes I wear were once his. They're the only remaining proof that he once walked this realm. So you carry his memory with you everywhere you go. I promised myself I would make the Archmage Grandante's name known around the world. So I'm going to work harder than I've ever worked before, until all in the realm know his story. And in the process, I'll become the greatest mage this world has ever seen. That's the spirit. Thanks, Gila. Just you watch, Grandfather. I'm going to make you proud. <clears throat> All right, now we've got one scene in Hyzant, and then we get back to business. more of a movie than a game so it appears the duchy intends to capture glenbrook but prince roland slipped from their grasp and fled to wolford the ink on the treaty is barely dried and they're already declaring war and what's more there's a price on prince roland's head it has spurred the masses into movement they will bear their fangs at us in time. We cannot leave them to their own devices. I see this as a wonderful opportunity. Oh? We can make it clear how we stand after the Salt Iron War. Aye. And I much prefer to extinguish embers than a raging inferno. Yeah, but what side are you gonna fall on? Sounds like you intend to start a war. Oh, well, it's already started, Exarm. Calm yourselves. There is no need to get so worked up over this. It is true that this grave matter may one day affect Hyzant. But it is in times like these that we must trust the Hierophant's words more than ever. Because you're a cult. Got it. Is the Hierophant saying? All right. One last quick tour. I wonder if the map is ever going to expand. Or if the whole thing just happens here, you know? And I wonder if there's ever going to be monsters. Like, we have giant birds. Eh. We'll see. Father, please open your eyes. There is so much I wish to ask you. Lord Serenoa. I cannot let Father hear how weak I've become. I must be strong. Lord Serenoa, Master Benedict, you have a visitor.
Is it Frederica? Who is it? Lord Silvio Tellior. Oh. He wishes for an audience with Lord Serenoa. That douchebag. What business would the Lord of House Tellior have with me? Tell him we will be there shortly. Yes, sir. Every day is busier than the last. We haven't had a moment to catch our breath. You are doing a fine job as head of House Woolfort, Lord Serenoa. Your father would be proud if he could see you now. I could not do it without you, Benedict. Thank you. One of those flowers are gonna be for Simone's funeral. Wonder why he wants the flowers. There's gotta be a reason. There's gotta be. Okay, that was it? Oh shit. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, we have a decision coming up. And luckily, we have nothing to distract us. All right. <clears throat> so we're already at 46 minutes. Shit. Showdown. In short, you wish for the three high houses to join hands and fight the duchy. Does he, though? Is that correct, Lord Silvio? Indeed. I believe it our duty to fight. Some are frozen in fear, trembling at the mere thought of the duchy's power. I feel that joining the three high houses under a single flag is the only way to unite them. My men ready themselves for war as we speak. Come to Telior, and we can strike at Esros together. Oh, I don't trust that shit. Prince Roland will be safe with us, of course. It's as good a plan as any. You have my thanks for getting the preparations underway. I wonder if Lord Landroy would agree. I doubt House Falks would refuse a fight. Their devotion to the Crown knows no bounds. But of course, they reaped great rewards from the bountiful lands won during the war. You propose reuniting the three high houses who led the Salt Iron War to its end. It is heartening to know you would once again lend us your strength. We certainly could use all the help we can get. Though I wish we could resolve matters peacefully. You speak as though your brother is not at fault for all this. My bride-to-be bears no blame for the Duchy's actions. Uh, my apologies. Forgive me for my outburst. Don't trust him. But we haven't much time. I would have your answer now. Shall we accept Lord Silvio's proposal, my lord? Fetch the scales, Benedict. We shall decide our path together. Lord Silvio made the journey to our domain to offer us an alliance. I would know what the others think on the matter. To the streets! Wonder if the houses are still burned down. Shit. At least the one is still standing, or the, the two down here? But damn. I wonder if that's going to affect things. Oh, shiny. Leather. My house is gone. If only I'd known sooner I could have grabbed my precious mementos. I can rebuild the house, but those keepsakes are gone forever. 
Lord Serenoa, you drove back the Esprosi forces with such splendor. I expected no less of House Wolfert. Have you heard of how the other houses are faring? To tell the truth, my family lives in the Tellior domain. They say that Lord Silvio is not a man of the military arts and fear what should happen were Esfrost to invade. House Tellior is wealthy and well connected. I doubt they would be so easily crushed. I have doubts on that. For better or worse, Lord Silvio is unchanging. I could stand to learn something from his ever composed example. He's a weasel. If worst comes to worst, your family is always welcome in Wolford. But Lord Silvio leads one of the three high houses and would do whatever it took to protect his domain. That's probably the most accurate one that's there. <clears throat> Thank you. You are most gracious, Lord Serenoa. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. I only wish House Tellior were so reliable. I shall let my family know what you have told me and invite them here to Wolford. Say I'm disappointed in Lord Silvio would be an understatement. He safeguarded himself in Tellior as the Goose invaded the Crown City. Some say it was his duty as Lord to stay and protect his people and domain, but what of his duty to the Crown? Suppose we shouldn't be looking to Lord Silvio for any semblance of loyalty. Yeah, he's going to fucking betray us. Like, if anyone was going to fucking betray us, it's gonna be that douchebag. If you can't already tell where I'm leaning with my decision. <laughs> Wish I could do more for the townsfolk who lost their homes, but us soldiers are hardly in any condition to help. We have our hands full, aiding the injured and, and making sure everyone is fed. I dread to think what would happen if the fighting were to continue much longer. My people are suffering uh, after a battle on our own soil. I doubt we would be able to face another attack from... Ooh, pardon me, from Esfrost alone. Oh, I saw the shiny right before I went in. I saw the shiny right as I went in. Enchanting spice. Ooh. Two enchanting spices. God, I wonder what items would have been in the houses I burned down. Quality fiber. Nice. Thanks to you, we managed to survive the battle, though the town wasn't so fortunate. It'll take some time before she's back to her former glory, but she'll get there so long as we work together. Fuck yeah. My house is okay, but one of the others burned down. They looked real sad, so I let them borrow my doll. It always helps me feel better when I'm sad, too. Good kid. Yep, oh, shiny. Two large HP recovery pellets. Nice. Kitty. Man, one of my kitties who's usually, um, well, she's usually an awful bitch, has been, like, super lovey today for some reason. My house burned down, but my friend let me borrow her doll. Dude. I mean, house burned down, got it all. You know what? Whatever makes you feel better. You are homeless now, so whatever helps, man. I'm I'm not going to fucking judge. Oh dear, how could this happen? And at a time like this, is something the matter? Whatever it is, I would be happy to help. Well, you see, my daughter and her husband got into a fight and decided to go their separate ways. But I fear for what will happen to their poor son don't know what I should do. Tear him in half! I fear there is aught you can do. The issue is between the two of them and must be resolved as such. Children are the ones who suffer most when parents fight. I think your efforts are best spent helping them reconcile. Eh. There is not to be gained by forcing themselves to stay together. Separating and starting new lives is for the best. Fuck, that's some heavy shit. Uh, shit. That one. You have a point there, my lord. Staying together may just make things worse in the end. Even if their marriage is over, that doesn't mean it's the end. I pray my daughter will find happiness no matter what she does. 
Thank you, Lord Saranoa. I feel so much better now that we've spoken. I apologize for burdening you with my family's troubles, especially at a time like this. You needn't apologize. No family is perfect. Wait, is there a shiny? Did I see a shiny, or was that just the water? That was just the water. Okay. Shiny, 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 shiny. Shiny! Rear guard's cloak. All right. Speaking of guards. Okay. Shiny, 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 shiny. Lord of House Teleor came all this way to ask for an alliance, but just between you and me, they wouldn't be of much help in battle. House Teleor is indeed not known for their prowess on the battlefield, but I do not know if we have the luxury of choosing our allies now. I think we should wait for Fox, man. Go up this fucking stairs. There you go. Shiny, 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 shiny. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, 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 There we go. We may not have our houses, but we still have our lives. For that, I must be grateful. Although, I admit, I'm as prone to, as any, to despairing these days. Not knowing when I'll be able to open a shop again. Hmm. Alright, let's go back inside. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to my dogs. Hey, everybody, back inside. Let's go inside. Will you be returning, my lord? Yes. All right. Um, Roland wants to accept. Sarah Noah. To say I have no doubts about Lord Silvio would be a lie. Even so, we are in sore need of allies. If the three high houses stand together, we may be able to turn the tides of war in our favor. I think it would be best for us to refuse Lord Silvio's proposal. I believe his offer to be one worth considering. If you have any reservations on the matter, I would hear them. Alright. Claiming victory in our last battle was no easy feat, and our soldiers have suffered for it. Must we, must we consider taking the field again so soon? There are people out there who will stop at nothing to see you dead. I think it unwise to leave the domain at this time, or... Lord Silvio is a man loyal only to himself, and one of unfavorable repute with his people. I advise you not to put too much faith in him. He's a douchebag. Trust me, friend, I know Lord Silvio to be unworthy of our faith. He cowered in Telior as the Esfrosti army laid siege to Whitehome Castle. But to think even the people distrust him, it proves to me that our judgment was correct. Moreover, I care not for whatever Lord Silvio may or may not be plotting. If he intends to use us, I say we use him in kind. All right. Um, Anna actually has an opinion this time? Yes, sir. We must be prepared for any who would march against us, but our forces are lacking in both numbers and supplies. House Telior's motives matter not, and could use even those against them should the need arise. I think we need to say no. Lord Saranoa, I believe we must use every tool available to us if we are to survive. <clears throat> Let's see. We do not know why Asfrost invaded Glenbrook. I think it best we be cautious and not rush headlong into an alliance. Or, we would leave ourselves vulnerable by venturing outside of our domain. Or, we didn't rely on others just yet. If we were to be attacked, we could make our stand at Castle Wolford. Our army is a formidable one indeed. They managed to force a retreat of Esfrost in the last battle. But we also sustained heavy losses. The soldiers will reach their limit sooner or later. We should act before the enemy does, lest we lose everything we have left. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright. Eridor, why are you on Silvio's side? The High Houses are sworn to protect the crown, yet Lord Silvio couldn't be bothered to leave Telior when the capital was in danger. Here's what I think. I can't help but wonder what he's scheming, but if he wants to join forces, I see no reason to refuse him. I do. I say we join forces with House Telior. The more of us, the better. But I can see you don't quite agree, lad. Top answer. Esfrost is no doubt watching our every move. Leaving our domain may alert them to an alliance and put us in even more danger. Or... 
Time is of the essence right now. General of Laura is likely desperate to reclaim her honor with a rematch sooner or later. Or... A heavy bounty weighs on Roland's head. We do not know who we can or cannot trust right now. <clears throat> You're onto something. No denying that, lad. There's no telling what sort of shady fellows are lurking about. Like Silvio. Looking to line their pockets with the prince's demise. Even if we could trust Lord Silvio, there's no guarantee his soldiers wouldn't try to get their hands on his highness. In fact, this is just what Esfrost might be hoping for with that bounty. Tough spot we're in. In any case, my lord, it looks like you've got something else in your mind. Could it be you've got some suspicions of Lord Silvio? Yeah. Lord Silvio left the safety of his own domain to come here, something I doubt he would do if he feared an attack from the duchy. Probably because he made a fucking deal with them, little bitches. <clears throat> he was truly worried for Roland's safety. I think he would suggest fortifying ourselves in Castle Wolfert rather than venturing to Telior. Yeah, bring some fucking soldiers, you prick. Or, Lord Silvio did not leave Telior even when the capital was taken, which makes me wonder why he would leave his safe haven now. Yeah. Are you joking? I mean to say it's strange for them to be acting now, after the capital's been taken. I'll admit, it's suspicious, but... I hate having to be suspicious. Three high houses are the pillars of Glenbrook. We should be working together, not wasting our time figuring out each other's intentions. What a sorry state we're in. Uh, Aridor did not seem to give a Lord fuck Seminole. about my opinion. Everyone has their suspicions over Lord Silvio's offer, but I think we can guess his true intentions easily enough. Whatever House Tellier's aim may be, I am certain we can use it to our advantage. Uh, let's see. It would be best for us to refuse. If there's something on your mind, my lord. If you have any doubts or concerns, pray let them be known. In the top. We never know when the Esfrosty army will strike next. It is, is it truly safe to leave our domain at a time like this? Or, how Celior is not known for their prowess in battle. Would there be any merit in allying ourselves with them? No, not really. Or... The duchy has placed a heavy bounty on Roland's head. Perhaps what Lord Silvio came here for is not an alliance, but... to seize Prince Roland. Hmm. I will not deny the possibility. Indeed. If we think of Esfrost's actions of late, it would not surprise me if they had already brought House Tellior to heal in secret. However, we cannot ignore the fact that the strength of our forces pales in comparison to that of Esfrost's. So, Are you not concerned about the size of your own army, Lord Serenoa? Perhaps the people would respond to a call to arms? Uh, or, I think it's best we ready our own forces before recklessly looking to others for help. Or, even if I were, I doubt House Telior would be much help there. Yeah, there was The size of one's forces is an important factor in war, my lord. And it is true that House Telior does not have many soldiers at its disposal. But neither do we. As such, we shouldn't be so hasty in turning away any numbers we can get. Well, fuck. All right. Um. Let's see what the the ladies over here have to say. The soldiers are exhausted after our last battle with Esfros. I know we need all the help we can get, but even so, I cannot find it in me to trust House Tellior. I agree with you. What do you need? I heard that the Tellior domain is known for its wine, not warriors. That's why their emblem is a, a thing of grapes. A bunch of grapes. Makes me wonder if it is truly necessary for us to join forces at a time like this. There we go. Let's see. I would have no qualms if Lord Silvio were a man of upstanding character, but the rumors I hear only speak to the contrary. I don't trust him either. Do you truly think allying ourselves with House Tellior would stop the spread of the war? I. It makes me wonder if it would only be pouring oil on the fire. I agree. To the scales! Democracy, go! God, I hope I convince somebody. I really don't want to go to fucking Tellior. It is time to cast our votes. Well, I kind of want to see what it's like, and it's like the whole waterfall and lake thing, it looks really beautiful. But he is so gonna fucking betray us. Do we accept House Tellior's proposal or go our own way? We can go our own way. 
go our own way. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. Thank you, Roland. Thank Christ. You make a convincing argument, my lord. And I got Benedict. Even better. My apologies. <coughs> I must follow my instincts. All right, we didn't get Anna. Did we get Eridor? I don't think so. Forgive me, lad. Just can't find it in me to agree this time. That's all right. That's what the scales are for, and I still win. So, no Talior. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Rejected. The way forward is decided. We deny House Tellior's proposal and weather this fight alone. Or we wait for House Fox to show up because they're actually reliable and they know how to fuck people up. God, I wish there was a way for me to check my fucking convictions, man. Are you mad? No, I'm smart. You, sir, are a douche. You would stand idly by while our kingdom is in grave danger. Not idly by. I just don't like walking into traps. This is the path we have chosen. I hope you understand. I do not. You must reconsider. Or else House Telior too will face Esfrost's wrath. How about you bring your asses over here to our giant fucking castle? And why would that be our concern? <sighs> we are in no condition to fight, Lord Silvio. It is as simple as that. Knew it. Then I pray something more than death awaits us both. He's totally going to betray everybody now. The weather vane completed. Yeah, we're going to save. All right. That is it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. It was kind of a long one. We only got that one little bit of, of practice and training combat in in the beginning. But man, shit is getting real in, um, whatever the continent is called. God, I wish I could remember things better. <laughs> um, either way, though, it's, uh, we're at an hour. We're going to wrap things up here. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next time for more Triangle Strategy. Have a good one.